what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so we seem to have been getting or we seem to be on the verge of getting an announcement regarding the cast of this upcoming new screen project that spyglass media is working on we know it's being held by the directors of ready or not uh matt bedinelli open and tyler gillett uh ready or not was a I wouldn't say it was like an outstanding film, but for what it for what it was, it was a very well made blend of horror and comedy. It was a very well made movie. It was very good. Um, and those two, I, those two are the last people I would have thought of as like a c candidates to helm the next screen project. Uh, because I felt that Ready or Not just kind of focused too much on the comedy aspects, but I I have faith in them, and they I feel like the selection that that was picked for these two to helm a screen five or a potential next entry in the screen franchise that's possibly going to be the fifth entry continuing from part four i think that we have uh some some worthy contenders to fill in west craven's shoes i, I don't think they're going to do as good as him of course but these these two are clearly they're they're very talented with a camera uh, ready or not was very well directed so i'm excited to see what they bring to the table but getting into the point of the video so we have been seen or today rather on twitter i noticed a few things going on in regards to something happening with casting now the two directors from ready or not who already are, who are already attached to direct this upcoming next screen project they have started following uh a few original stars and two riverdale stars now uh the original stars they have been they have been following are david arquette and courtney cox two people who are of course synonymous with the screen franchise gail weathers dewey riley uh, they've also started to follow two Riverdale, two Riverdale stars, uh, Cole Sprouse and Lily Reinhardt. Now, as we all know, I believe Cole Sprouse and Lily Reinhardt, they are still, uh, in Rifle, an actual couple and their on-screen characters, Jughead, Jughead and Betty in the, in the series Riverdale. They are a couple on that show as well. Uh, I don't know exactly if they are, again, this is nothing official. Nothing official is it has come out about the cast, but the fact that the Ready or Not directors are following David Arquette, Courtney Cox, they've not only are they following, they've started to follow them. They may have been following them for quite some time, but I just I just noticed this. Someone else brought this up to everyone's attention, and I took note of this. Uh, the Ready or Not directors, they have started following Courtney Cox. They started following David Arquette. They are following Lily Reinhardt, and they are following Cole, following Cole Sprouse. Now, whether or not that means these all four of these individuals are actually going to star in the upcoming screen project that is yet to be seen we'll know we'll know more when an actual announcement regarding the cast is made uh me myself personally i did reach out to radio silence which is one of the pro production companies behind this upcoming screen project they were also behind uh ready or not to get some updates i reached out to them to get some updates regarding this project and they said uh, that's some news regarding casting, filming, all of that stuff will be revealed soon. And now that was, I sent that to them like four days ago. And now here we are four days later and we have, uh, the ready or not directors, uh, we have the ready or not directors looking to, or seemingly following, uh, some people on Twitter, like to indicate that these people have been in contact with, with the directors. They, the directors have reached out to them to quite possibly participate in this upcoming screen project. Now, David Arquette and Courtney Cox, th those, those are the giveaways. That's, that's why everyone, that's why everyone, including myself, believes that Lily Reinhardt and Cole Sprouse in some capacity have been contacted to star in this upcoming screen project. Whether or not that is going to be true, again, it doesn't mean that, that Courtney Cox and even David Arquette are going to be attached to it. But given that these two directors, they're already on set to, they're already confirmed to be helming this up this upcoming screen project. And then for you to follow two two original stars that fans are going to be very familiar with with when it comes to the Scream series. And then on top of that, you've now followed two uh two well-known actors from the Riverdale series, Lily Reinhardt and Cole Sprouse. Uh Everyone is going to instantly assume that this has to do with Scream, and I'm willing to bet that this has everything to do with the project. Whether or not that they are going to be starring in it or not, again, that's not confirmed, but that at least tells me that some contact has been made, and we're going to get some type of casting announcement soon. Now, what I will say is that we haven't seen any... They are not following Hayden Pantier. These directors are not following Hayden Pantier. They might be doing that on purpose, uh, just to keep on teasing, or 
Kirby might not end up being in this project, which I know would upset a lot of people, including myself. I, at the end of the day, I just hope this is a continuation from part four. I'm not up for any reboots. I'm not up for ignoring any sequels. Scream, Scream, there's there's not a single Scream sequel that is so bad it needs to be ignored. And I know if we had to pick one, it would be Scream 3. But there is no Scream sequel that is so bad and so horribly written that it needs to be ignored. There, there's, there's not one single sequel that's so bad it needs to be ignored. There just isn't. I hope this upcoming project is continuing from part four, and I hope we get something that is gonna be that's gonna pay a great tribute to Wes Craven. It's gonna be a well-made film. Uh, and whether or not Cole Sprouse and Lily Reinhardt actually star in this film, I hope they do. Uh, Cole Sprouse, I know a lot of us are familiar with him from Zack and Cody. Uh, he's like the he's been the breakout. I, I know growing up, a lot of people thought it was gonna be Zack and. Here Cole Sprouse is. He's the breakout of the two. Uh, but I think this would be a big breakout role for him if he is starring in Screen 5. Now, what I will say is this. He does have dark hair. Now, if this is a reboot, he could very well star as Billy Loomis. That could also be a potential. Uh, that That's also something that could be a potential casting role for him. If this is, in fact, a reimagining of the original film, he could be playing a modern-day Billy Loomis. Uh, but let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below. Do you think that Cole Sprouse and Lily Reinhardt are going to be participating in Screen 5? What do you think about the directors of Ready or Not? And the, the already confirmed directors of this upcoming Screen project following David Arquette and following Courtney Cox on Twitter. Uh, if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed and turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. Do you think this film is going to be a sequel? Do you think it's going to be a reimagining of the first movie? What do you think is going to go on with this Screen project? Uh, but let me know all of that down in the comment section below. I'm really looking forward to seeing what they have to bring to the table and what they have to offer. And I'm looking forward to getting some official casting news, which I'm assuming is going to be coming in the next coming days. It's going to be very interesting to see what is going on here because I know Riverdale's production has been affected by this outbreak. Several things are being affected by this outbreak. So I'm, it's kind of interesting to me to see if Riverdale's production was affected and then these two stars are now going to be filming Screen 5. Where are they going to be filming this at? They are supposed to film it in North Carolina next month, but we'll see what happens with all of that. Uh, I can't wait to see what this project turns out to be. I'm hoping it's something we'll all be, be excited for. Uh, but let me know what you guys think about it all down in the comment section below. In the description, I have links on my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you would like me to cover in the future. And down in the comment section below, I'm going to have a link to the Facebook group. Go ahead and join that Facebook group if you would like to stay up to date on any horror-related